Hi, I'm here from TechDiggy.com and I'm going to be showing you how to get accustomed to the iP Apple iPad from Android tablet devices. Now I've had several Android tablet devices in the past and I prefer the iPad over all of them because of the sound quality and the video clarity. Apple makes everything easier for the end user and you know you don't really have to think about what you're, what you're doing that much. First thing you want to make sure you have when you get to the iPad is an Apple account. You have, for that you simply go to the App Store, try to download a free application, therefore you will not have to input any credit card information until you actually want to buy a paid application such as a 99 cent application. So you go free and then you basically make a new account. Not that hard. Now you want to configure your iPad as well iCloud is a service which gives you around, you know, uh, 5 gigabytes to store all your photos and all that. So, including your music and stuff. You can buy additional storage, but make sure to sign up to at least, um, you know, have a good backup of your device and your contact inf information and all that. There's also options for your Wi-Fi, make, and these are all in settings, by the way. Your notifications, you can manage where notifications are, such as the slider on top or um, if they are badges or banners and you know you can even uh, make your iPad a picture frame this all comes standard on the iPad brightness on wallpaper mail and contacts you know you can you can check how m when it will update for or sync and if you go to the mail app it will give you an option to install your first or you know add your first email account to the device so you have a couple of pre-done options and if you look at, click on Apple um, Apple, um, they'll ask you, you know, for the email itself and stuff like that. It will automatically be, you know, they'll try to recognize your settings and those stuff. So, for the App Store, um, there's a lot of apps. You just go there and search up here if you want for anything spe that specific. You can also go to the dictation tool, which is right there. And it's kind of like voice to talk on Android for Apple. So I can go, how was my day today? I'm looking for the Facebook app. And the bad thing about it is it doesn't actually detect when you top, t stop talking. You actually have to go ahead and tap it another time. And let's see what it came up with. Let me get my camera closer for the Facebook app. And that's what I exact. that's exactly what I said. So that's pretty good. Apple has actually Good voice recognition. I um, didn't really expect that. I'm not a big Apple fan. I'm um, just, you know, uh, I'm actually a bigger Google fan. But, you know, the app head is a really nice tool. I'll admit that. It also comes with me messages, so you can message people who have another iOS device. It also comes with FaceTime, so people can, you know, uh, vo video chat, if you will from device to device. So you can simply set those up by just tapping on it for the first time. Photo booth will also um it's kind of you if you if you have a Mac you'll be familiar with this. It has different effects as you can see right now. So for my hand my hands there's the thermal camera, there's a mirror and then there's X ray. Really it looks really nice. The X ray is absolutely amazing right now. It actually looks like an X ray. Okay. Enough fun with that. And that's it. So you know, basically it's really similar. They all have the same apps, um, stock apps, except for, you know, Reminders, Newsstand, which you may have not seen on Android, and like Photo Booth and FaceTime, but they do have something similar to that. So that's it, guys, and I hope you watched this, enjoyed this video.